Well, we're here, we're in a very important place. We're in Alcaldía de Caracas, um, 50 meters from the statue of Simón Bolívar, which was the greater liberator of Venezuela and of all South America. And um, why the West does not want to understand what is happening in Venezuela. I think the best concept for understanding this is political racism. Why political racism? Because Venezuela has been the single pro political process that hasn't been given a chance to be understood. Why? Because Chavez was their scheme. Because the people who have accompanied this political process, the Bolivarian Revolution, has been basically proletarian, the poorest of the poor. And uh, the West does not want that, does not want to understand that that, um, that dark-skinned people are real human, a human people with all the rights that, that we deserve. And um, yeah, I think it's, that's something that is not said commonly, but it's the concept political racism. The same thing happens with Nicolás Maduro. Nicolás Maduro is a, is a worker. He is a um, person who used to drive a, a, a bus and uh, neither the, the elite, the Venezuelan elite, nor the international elite wants to accept that um, the people, dark skin people, people who come from a humble background can run the destinies of a, a an oil-rich country as Venezuela. There is, the opposition is composed of all people. I think there's been deployed a process of, of um, destroying the political consciousness that has been trying to be raised in Venezuela. Um, the opposition has moved from the right, the right wing uh, political perspective to fascism. Why fascism? I just, I just had some opinion on Twitter, and today they say we're going to apply the decree to war, which was something that uh, Simon Bolivar put in place in 1813, basically when he was running the, the first uh, uh, revolution, the first independence revolution in Venezuela. And um, they don't want to have power. They don't want to conquer the National Assembly. In fact, they won the elections in, to, in 2015. But they don't want that. They want to run the whole country. They want to have control of the oil industry. And they want to control the executive. Uh, uh, the the um, right in Venezuela, they don't want to play the democratic game. They don't care what the UN Charter says. They don't care what the Bolivarian constitution said they just care about getting it all but uh, something important is to say that i think the bolivarian revolution has reached a point very close to irreversibility and uh, that's something that the west will have to understand it we are willing to give our lives whatever it takes to preserve independence and sovereignty Yeah, one can see that the West, the media, the elites of the world have given a different treatment to Correa, to Cristina Kirchner, to Lula, uh, when we compare it to the treatment that they have given to President Hugo Chavez or the treatment that they, has given, they have given to Nicolas Maduro. Why? I think it's racism. And we have to say it. It's political racism we have to denounce. But also I think we have to make a, a reflection and is that progressives internationally have played a role close to irrelevant and that much more has to be done and done better. Uh, all this mm, back um, I mean, basically, all these defeats that we have had in the recent times with UNASUR, 
with um, losing power in Ecuador, losing power in Argentina, have a lot to do with um, a challenge we have that has to do with the need that we have of working on decolonization, working on, on the South epistemologies. If we don't work on, on, on deconstructing ourselves, deconstructing you know, our false consciousness that we have, I don't think we can, we can overcome the, the, um, the challenges that we have, that we're facing to the future. And we need to preserve the Bolivarian Revolution because this doesn't belong to us. This Bolivarian Revolution belongs to our sons and daughters and our great kids. And that's why we're going to be keeping Venezuela being sovereign, being free, being independent. Que cantar, que vamos a...